We're here on the range at West Hill Golf Club having a test of Cobra's new King utility iron. Now this is the world's first adjustable iron, so it's a really innovative product from Cobra. Lots of other technology to talk about, mostly the use of this high strength 455 stainless steel. And what they've done is they've connected the sole to the lower part of the face. And what that means is it's going to flex more in that area when you're hitting it off the deck, you're going to get more ball speed on shot struck low on the face and therefore more distance. This product is designed to offer the feel and workability of an iron with the ball speed and, and ball flight of a hybrid. We've talked about the adjustable lofts, we've got the MyFly lofts here, so it goes from 18 to 22 degrees. And there's also some draw settings in there as well. The other interesting thing to talk about in the way this iron is constructed is the tungsten weighting. We've got a 67 gram tungsten weight and load in the head to increase launch, get the CG position more in the center of the face to improve feel and also improve forgiveness. I've been testing it here on the range using our GC2 launch monitor. I had it set at 19 and a half degrees, which is about in the middle with the standard stiff shaft, the Aldilla 85H shaft. First thing that strikes you is the penetrating ball flight. But despite that, I was getting carries still around the 210 mark. And on that ball flight, I was going to get a lot more run, kind of 20, 30 yards of run. So very impressive distance with this club. What I like about it, yes, it's a utility iron but it's not too large or imposing behind the ball. It's actually relatively compact and kind of more in line with perhaps a three or a four iron within a better player set. Um, and that's just because it's quite short from heel to toe. And because of that tungsten weight, it's still quite a forgiving golf club. You don't need that length from the heel to toe to make it more forgiving. Down by the ball, what I like about this club is not actually much offset there. It's got a very thick top line, as you'd expect from a utility iron, and you can see the back of the sole as you look down, but that's a feature that features across many different utility irons, so hopefully that won't put you off. The feel is certainly in between that of a long iron and a hybrid. There's a little bit of that hotness, kind of hollowness, that you get from a hybrid with a little hint of softness that you get from your iron. So it definitely sits right in between you know, those two, and I think that is what the Cobra were looking for when they set out this club. You know, it is very much in between the two, said to offer the performance benefits of both. And if you adjust the loft, you can get a flight that is a bit more similar to that of a hybrid, if that's what you want. And I think the fact that it is adjustable is massive because golfers of all different abilities have different gaps within the top end of their bag. So being able to choose a loft that fits directly in between those clubs, maybe the longest iron and their fairway wood, that's going to make this club more appealing to them because they can fit the gaps more evenly. It is probably geared towards better players. Most utility irons are. It's still a very forgiving golf club, but just the way it sits down by the ball certainly is geared towards more competent ball strikers, but the ball flight didn't veer to the left as some utility irons tend to do, tend to curve right to left through the air. This one actually went pretty neutral, and if anything, managed to fade a few shots out to the right. It certainly drew some as well, but the, the average dispersion was quite tight. That was another impressive trait with this club. Pretty versatile, very good off the tee, very strong flight off the tee. All in all, I was really impressed with this club. Really hot from the sweet spot. Could definitely see myself using this off the tee. Very accurate. If you're a good ball striker and you want something that's going to give you more of a penetrating flight that you want to use maybe in the summer, maybe you play links courses, you want to keep the ball low and get it running, this club is certainly going to do that and it's going to give you more forgiveness as well. Comes in steel and graphite. I've got the graphite version here, uh, which is £169, also £149 for the steel, which is a KBS Tour C taper light option. Um, so really do recommend you give this a try. It's got that adjustability to fit any gap in your bag. Um, it's very forgiving. It's very versatile as well. Give it a go.